If you turn your body sideways, then you have free movement in your hand. You can pull back and you can get into the shot. Hello and very warm welcome to another video. I'm Brando, EBSA assistant head coach and world snooker coach. Playing with the rest is essential skill because usually in a big break you will have a shot or two with the rest and if that shot is in the middle of the break it is just on that point of the break that you need to get over that shot just to continue the break so for example if I need to clear the colors here and if I finish like this on the yellow I need to play with the rest or with my left hand because usually I'm right hander and it is good just to spend some time with the rest 15 or 20 minutes just to feel kind of half confident with the rest not you don't need to spend too much time practicing with the rest or with your opposite hand the thing with playing with the rest is just to keep your basics the same like you do on every shot with the rest you still have to be standing absolutely behind the line you need to read the angle you need to make the decision where to hit the white ball and how hard to hit the white ball then you need to walk in into the shot and you need to keep the distance between the rest and the cue ball actually your bridge the same as you do on your other shots now I'll keep my cue action the same which is going to be one two three pause pull back slowly pause and then you get through the white ball and stay still Remember that you just need to keep the basics the same when you play with the rest. I'll put the shot again. <clears throat> if you're a right-handed player, it is very important to keep your rest on the left side of your body and to keep your stance little bit to the right side that will help you to have a free movement here in your arm see that I have nice distance between the cue and my head I keep the rest very still I don't want the rest to be moving sideways if I'm like this I'm a little bit blocked I cannot pull back I'll hit my head my hand is a little bit blocked here if you turn your body sideways then you have free movement in your in your hand you can pull back and you can get into the shot so you have to walk in into the shot again the stance is sideways so I have free movement in my hand then I keep my cue action the same one two three pause pull back slowly pause and then you strike the ball perfect position on the green and now you can clear the colors if you don't succeed with that shot then you just cut the chain in your break and then 27 points for your opponent it is good idea to try playing with your opposite hand many of you don't believe that they can be successful with their opposite hand but I practice with my opposite hand just for fun like 15 minutes per week just to keep it in, in, in good shape and that 15 minutes gives me lots of value lots of benefits on the table so you may try to play with your left hand yellow like this just remember the basics stand behind the line walking into the shot good bridge one two three pause pull back slowly pause and you hit the ball all right i i know i'm not very good with my left hand but that 15 minutes practicing with my left hand per week gives me just better feel on little shots like this you don't stop your rhythm of playing you have more stability over the cue because you keep that four contact points the grip the bridge the chin and the chest 
with the rest you cannot have four contact points you have only two the rest and your cueing hand so practicing with your opposite hand gives you lots of value to be able to execute shots like this many thanks for watching see you next time